open with the Justice League enacting during a natural disaster, working as the efficient, powerful team they've become. Weeks after JL-1, they act together, they save lives, but they're refugees, so political tension is high. The world is on edge. In the aftermath, the Justice League regroup at the only headquarters they know, the Batcave. Flash is enthusiastic, while Superman remains distant, at least with Batman. And Aquaman is facing a continued skepticism of the surface world and his involvement in it by the people of Atlantis. Wonder Woman relates to Arthur. Her people abandoned this world long ago. It is clear that although the League is united, the world is not. The League goes back to their individual lives to mend old wounds, except for Batman, who's dealing with fresh ones left alone in the cave. Bruce secretly meets with Lois, both of them still searching for Lex Luthor. There's tension between them since Superman has returned. The meeting ends after Lois tells Bruce that Superman needs her more than ever. Bruce knows Lois is hiding something else. Meanwhile, deep in the Brazilian jungle, Lex locates Dr. Maru, last seen in Wonder Woman, still alive, experimenting on herself, prolonging her life and testing new chemical weapons on unfortunate human lab rats. Like an obsessed stalker, Maru has spent decades collecting information and artifacts on Diana and the Amazons. Now that Diana has become known to the world, Lex offers Maru a chance at revenge. The same revenge he wants on Diana's friends, Superman and Batman. Maru accepts. Lex smiles. Let it begin. In the Atacama Desert, with Maru's help, Lex breaks Orm and Black Manta out of the desert prison where they were imprisoned at the end of Aquaman. Outside of Central City, in Iron Heights Penitentiary, Lex finds Len Snart, where he was left in the Flash, and offers Len a chance to advance his weaponry and take down the fastest man alive. Do you remember those Saturday morning cartoons, Mr. Snart? You know, the one where that wily coyote could never quite catch that little birdie he was after. What that silly old coyote lacked was a partner. Now imagine, someone came along and provided him the upgrades that he needed. He could surely say a big bye-bye to dropping anvils and rogue boulders. Is there a point to all this rambling? Hmm, well, it seems at this point, any attempts to catch the fastest man alive has been nothing but a cold pursuit. <laughs> this is where my associate may be able to help. Perhaps we could catch two birds. <laughs> Let's get started. In Metropolis, Superman asks Lois, When were you going to tell me? Tell you what, Clark? I can hear the second heartbeat. You shouldn't call me Clark. Clark is dead. The world believes that too. Superman mistakes Lois's hesitation for fear. It won't hurt you, he says. At the Louvre in Paris, Diana and Menalipe the Amazon who came to warn Diane about Steppenwolf, discover there may be a way to remember the path back to Themyscira. Diana must use the lasso on herself to unlock her mind. It's a dangerous process, but Diana wants to help Menelipe home, and Diana wants to see her mother again, even if she might reject her. Diana puts the lasso on, and suddenly she's overwhelmed by visions. In the beginning, they're wonderful, for the first time in over a century, Diana sees her home, soaring over the island. She sees the Amazons, and finally, her mother. I see it. Temiscira. Mother! But then her visions grow dark. Diana sees herself as the god of war, in a battle with Superman. As she kills him, Diana cries out. No! No! Menelipe frees Diana from the lasso. Despite the pain and confusion, Diana remembers the way home. It is done. 
I remember the way home. In a central city courthouse, Barry is at a hearing. Thanks to Cyborg, Iris, and a troop of lawyers from Wayne, the state has examined new evidence that Barry and Vic have presented and agree to reopen Henry Allen's case. Barry is elated. Thank you, Barry. Along an underwater continental shelf, Aquaman and Mira are in a violent battle with the last of the Seven Kingdoms, the Unseen. It explodes around tidal pools and active volcanic lava flows. Arthur has the Seventh King on the ground, his trident at his throat. The Seventh King tells him to kill him. I am not here to be your executioner. Join us in uniting the Seven. But the Seventh King refuses. Arthur leaves, frustrated. <clears throat> the last kingdom refuses to unite. In the Batcave, Cyborg upgrades the cave, even providing a female AI voice for Alfred, who has become a father figure of sorts. Looking at the empty cave around them, Why is he never home? Alfred solemnly replies, Because, Master Stone, then he'd have to face himself. Batman moves deep into the Canadian wilderness, doing second, following up on a lead that Lex may have been sighted in one of the remote towns. He fights his way through a secret location only to discover not Lex Luthor hiding out, but the Riddler. Awake for days, maybe weeks, Riddler has a long, unkept beard, his fingers dirty, his rantings written across the walls of his cabin. He looks at Batman, a man possessed. Luther asked the question. I had to know the answer. Lois is also on Luthor's trail. She's located Dr. Maru's lair in the Brazilian jungle. Lois writes everything in a journal, keeping it offline and private. She grows pale as she realizes who Maru is and what Lex might be up to. He's forming a team of his own. Back in the Canadian wilderness, Batman faces off against the Riddler. He tells Bruce about how Lex came to him for information. Lex presented the anti-life equation, the riddle of life itself, and the Riddler solved it. I know what it can do. Once it's unlocked, Lex will make life meaningless. The Riddler raises a gun, but points it at his own head. Time to solve the last riddle. <laughs> Batman's shocked as Riddler kills himself. Wonder Woman and Menalipe arrive in Themyscira. Diana's unsure what her mother's reaction will be, but a tearful and overjoyed Hippolyta embraces her. Diana. My daughter, you have returned to me. Mother, it's so good to finally see you. There is so much I have to tell you. The Queen declares, There shall be a celebration unlike any other in Amazon history. My daughter is home. In the oceans, Aquaman and Mira bring the final kingdom of the Seven the Unseen, into their alliance. For the first time since Atlantis sank, it is once again united. In Central City, for the first time since he was a kid, there is no wall of glass between Barry and his father. Henry Allen is released from prison, exonerated. Barry's about to tell his father who he is. Dad, there's something I need to tell you. In Metropolis, Lois returns to Superman. I can accept that Clark is gone, but I need to go. Lex is up to something. I just don't know what it is yet. In Gotham, Batman returns from the wilderness, shaken by the Riddler's proclamation. Intercut with Lois discovering from General Swanwick that Lex has the three mother boxes. Oh no. Lex activates his plan. At the Three Rivers, helicopters survey the area. Lex is on the scene, his team elsewhere but in contact with him. Lex activates the boxes, his true plan to destroy the Justice League and take the secret power called the Anti-Life Equation for his own. It will give him power over all living life. 
The anti-life equation glows as Lex turns on the boxes. Cyborg blinks, feeling a horrible emptiness as the influx of data stops for the first time since he first went online. And a boom tube erupts in front of Lex, surprising him. Emerging from the portal, Desaad, the horrific, sadistic servant of his master, Darkseid, who emerges behind him. Darkseid takes the power of the anti-life equation for himself. In the Batcave, Superman, Batman, and Lois regroup. They learn of Darkseid's arrival. Bruce, this is a fight among gods. She's my world. Protect her. He tells Bruce. Superman flies off to confront Darkseid. After Superman leaves, Bruce and Lois argue. Bruce knows she's pregnant. Lois ends the argument by telling Bruce, You're not the father. She tries to tell Bruce about what she's discovered with what Lex is planning, but he won't listen. Please, Bruce, it's about Lex and... At the Three Rivers, Taking in Darkseid's arrival, Lex tells Darkseid that Ah, behold, the new god of apocalypse with the power to kill Superman. <laughs> Darkseid moves forward, acknowledging Lex. He says to Lex, I don't want him dead. I want Superman to submit. I know exactly what you need and where you can find it. If you want the Tin Man's heart, you have to follow the yellow brick road known as Lois Lane. She's the key to breaking his spirit. Superman arrives, and a battle with Darkseid erupts. But Darkseid booms to Lois, the Batcave collapsing around her, and Batman at his arrival. Bruce looks down at Darkseid and Lois from behind the glass wall above. Darkseid stares at Lois. Bruce is overwhelmed. What can he do? Lois! Superman flies at incredible speed to Gotham. He arrives just in time to see Darkseid unleashing his Omega Beams from his eyes, turning Lois into Ash. No! Superman cries out. His soul shatters. Grief-stricken, he moves to tear Darkseid apart, but Darkseid gazes at him, the power of the anti-life coursing through his veins. Superman stops his mind infected by Darkseid. Bruce watches it all in horror. Superman grabs his head in pain, eyes burning. Before Lois is able to warn everyone, Lex signals his team to attack. On Themyscira, Dr. Maru unleashes a chemical gas that covers the island and kills the Amazons. Even Diana dies in her mother's arms. Mother! <coughs> Maru dies herself, a sick and twisted smile on her face. In Atlantis, Orm and Black Manta attack the coronation killing Arthur. Mira barely surviving herself, a cut across her face. In Central City, Len attacks Flash with his amped up weapons, courtesy of Luthor. Cyborg is blown apart, saving Barry, losing his lower half. Back at the Batcave, Batman watches in horror as Darkseid takes full control of Superman. Superman turns on Batman, and he barely escapes. Lex believes he's won, but comes face to face with Superman. He looks at Lex with burning red eyes, and lights him on fire. Sand dunes, smoldering solar pits, 
gothic spires rising from the desert. Once, this was Gotham. Now, like the rest of Earth, it belongs to Darkseid. Coming over the dune, post-apocalyptic Batman, as seen in BVS, with a ragtag army of rebels. The surviving members of the Justice League walk over the rise of a dune to see the dilapidated Wayne Manor. Batman leads them, flash drags what's left of Cyborg behind him. Bruce looks up to the sky, grimly. We need to get inside before night. He's coming. We open by introducing Green Lantern to the Justice League film universe. He's inside his ship crashing to Earth, desperately trying to make contact with someone. But there's no response, only static. Mayday, 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 my ship's been compromised and I'm losing altitude fast. Can anyone read me? Anyone? Come in. John? John, can you read me? John, please. Please tell me you're here. The ship crashes hard. Disoriented, Lantern hears someone outside, opening the door. A silhouette figure peers in. It's Batman. Opening on the five years later Earth seen at the end of JL2, parademons convey onto the ship. Batman defending Lantern. Then an unexpected ally assists Batman. Deadshot firing at the Parademons. In this post-Dark Side world, Deadshot is teamed up with the Dark Knight. Then they're joined by the Flash. Batman barks at Flash to stay out of the fight. Stay out of this fight, Barry. Barry's too important to the mission to risk getting hurt. Flash saves Batman, cocky, but is soon overwhelmed by Parademons. Flash is almost killed, but Lantern saves him the iconic friendship between the two beginning. Lantern looks across the Earth, analyzing it with his ring. He explains to them who he is, and who the Green Lantern Corps is, or was. My name is Hal Jordan, of the Lantern Corps. We are tasked with maintaining peace, order, and justice throughout the universe. I came here to find my partner, John Stewart, of Earth, who's missing. Darkseid and his armies are paving their way through our entire universe. In the sky, the Big Dipper constellation is missing two stars. Batman says that all the stars will go out because of what is happening on Earth. In blackest night. Batman, Deadshot, Flash, and Lantern return to the League's hidden base camp under Wade Manor. Mira joins them, walking to the camp across the desert, with Arthur's trident slung across her shoulders, carrying two buckets of water. Mira remarks, I had to venture further outside of camp to locate drinkable water. Bruce explains his operation to Lantern. We are planning an operation that will end Darkseid's reign on Earth. You don't stand a chance against Darkseid and his army. Let me repair my ship and find the surviving members of the Corps. Then maybe we might have a fighting chance. Lantern wonders, What could this team do to stop Darkseid? Reveal post-Darkseid cyborg, now half a man, able to plug into machinery hanging in the Batcave, working on massive technology, a cosmic treadmill that will help the Flash jump back in time, Lantern asks. How exactly is this gonna work? Cyborg tells Lantern the specifics of how time travel works. It's very uncontrollable. And even if we can get Flash to travel back, they can only try this once a year, so that the Earth will be in the very same spot and the Flash doesn't jump into solid bedrock. Flash shrugs. Or space. In order to operate it, they need to steal a mother box from Darkseid's army, and they know where one is. But once they power this machine up, they'll get 
his attention. Lantern asks, Wait, whose attention are we going to get? Mira answers, A dark side controlled Superman. Even Lantern has heard of the Kryptonian, worried that he's under the control of Darkseid. He heard his spirit was unbreakable. Deadshot goes on. Across the world, beyond parademons, nearly the entire population has fallen to the anti-life equation, their minds being completely controlled by Darkseid. Deadshot says he remembers when his daughter was taken. It haunts him worse than death. They need to move soon. The planet alignment is tomorrow night, where Earth will be in the same place it was when Bruce first saw Flash in the Batcave. If they don't jump then, they won't have another opportunity for an entire year. The plan is that Barry will warn Batman so that they can be prepared. But the Flash will only have 10 to 15 seconds before he's taken apart. So what can he say in that amount of time to Bruce? They all agree it's simple. You have to stop Lex. If Lex is stopped, Darkseid will never come here, and Lex will never slaughter the Justice League. Afterwards, Bruce pulls Barry aside. Bruce tells him that it won't work. He was trying to stop Lex already. Flash has to say something else. Bruce says that this is his fault. In a rare moment of vulnerability, Bruce admits, She was Superman's world. I believe I broke that connection. Bruce whispers in Barry's ear, and Flash's eyes go wide. Flash can't help but say, No way! Bruce responds, Tell me that it'll change everything. The mission starts at dawn. In a Fury Road-inspired Batmobile, the Justice League, Batman, Green Lantern, Deadshot, and Mira break into the stronghold. A cathedral swarming with anti-life controlled people. Dark side soldiers. Human priests kneel at the mother box. Batman says, As soon as they get to the mother box, Superman will be aware of them. Back in the Batcave, Cyborg and the Flash are preparing for Flash's jump. Cyborg makes it clear that the Flash won't have much time. He needs to deliver the message before he crumbles into nothingness. But if Barry succeeds, it won't matter. None of this will have ever happened. Batman and the others steal the Mother Box and make a dead run back to the cave as the Flash and Cyborg prepare for Barry's jump. Superman is in pursuit. Superman arrives and faces off against the Justice League. From a tower, Deadshot fires a kryptonite bullet at Superman's back. But Superman dodges it. Batman asks Deadshot over his comm. Deadshot, what's happening? Deadshot tells Batman. This better work. This had better save my daughter. Superman flies through the tower, killing Deadshot. He's here. Mira tries to remove the water from Superman. He crushes her. Ah! Green Lantern fires his ring at Superman. But he sends his corrupted heat vision into the ring until the ring explodes, taking Lantern's arm with it. Cyborg does what he can against Superman as Flash prepares to jump. Just after Cyborg activates the machine, Superman tosses him to the Parademons. Run, Barry! Run! They tear him apart. Yeah! Then finally, it's Batman facing off against Superman. The Flash runs hard in the machine, seconds away from the jump. Batman is armed with the kryptonite spear, but Superman impales Batman with it. Bruce! As these two heroes struggle, the Flash races as fast as he can. Run, Barry. You have to run faster, Barry. Faster! 
exploding through time, just before Superman reaches him. The Flash races back in time. Then we're with Bruce and Lois as they first argue in jail too. Lois storms out of the Batcave when the Flash arrives, landing in the JO2 moment. He tells Bruce what we didn't hear before, what Bruce whispered in Flash's ear. Lois likes you, Bruce. You're the problem. After delivering his message, the Flash vanishes from existence. Lois comes down, trying to reconnect with Bruce, who is still reeling from the information. Again, Lois is insisting he listens to her. This time, he does. She tells him Lex has a plan to take out the Justice League. Working together, they discover his attack plans against the League. Suddenly, Darkseid's boom tube opens, water pouring into the cave again. Darkseid looks at Lois, Bruce looking down from above behind the glass, again. But this time, Bruce goes into action, smashing through the glass, throwing himself in front of Darkseid's Omega Beams as he moves Lois out of the way. He's struck by them, crying out, but he survives. Superman arrives in time to see Batman injured. He flies into a rage, but instead of being broken, he's empowered, angry. You think you can attack my friends? What you've given me is a rare opportunity to show you just how powerful I really am. Superman puts Darkseid on his heels and Darkseid is forced to retreat. Lois tells Superman Lex has a plan. You have to warn the others. With information from Lois on Lex's Injustice League, Superman saves the League, stopping Maru from releasing the gas on Themyscira, Orm and Black Manta from killing Aquaman, and Len from taking out Cyborg. Meanwhile, Bruce reveals to Lois that although he is alive, he was hit. There's a darkness growing across his body. He's in pain, but they need to keep fighting. He tells Lois as he boards the bat plane. I could have had a life outside of the cave with you. Bruce, I... Bruce leaves across the world gives them hope. This means something. They will stumble. They will fall. They will join you in the sun, Cal. You will help them accomplish wonders. Darkseid's full-scale invasion begins, and it's too much for the Justice League to handle on their own, but they won't have to. Led and inspired by Superman, the countries of the world come together. Armies, air forces, navies. Wonder Woman and her mother lead the Amazons off Themyscira to join the war. Amazon! In the oceans, Aquaman pleads to the Seven Kingdoms, declaring, There is an Eighth Kingdom, the surface world. We must be allies, not enemies. The Seven Kingdoms rise to join the Amazons and the surface. The entire world becomes a Justice League. In a Lord of the Rings-like finale, the history of the three armies that first battled Darkseid echoes itself today. The world of men, the Amazons, and the Atlanteans. As the battle continues, Green Lantern joins the fight along with the alien Green Lantern Corps. 
It's the entire DC universe together for the very first time. On a scale unlike any that's ever been seen. Battling to save the world together. During the battle, Hippolyta dies, saving her daughter, proud of what she's done. My daughter. No! I am so proud of what you have become. No! Father, stay with me! A queen. Flash is able to move so quickly, he masters his powers, existing in two places at once. Unstoppable, he takes out an entire army himself. Cyborg is able to overpower the Mother Boxes, taking control of them and triggering a chain reaction that destroys them, weakening Darkseid. Now God bends to my will. It's ultimately a dying Batman who sacrifices himself to save the League and the world, destroying Darkseid. In the Aftermath Superman, with Lois's help, the Back from the Dead Superman will learn to become Clark Kent again, feeling more human than ever as he and Lois start a family. Lois mourns Bruce's death. Superman looks closer, realizing that Lois is carrying Bruce's child. Lois admits it, but he already knows. Maybe he always did, he says. He saw what he needed to. But he doesn't shy away. Instead, he embraces Lois. Diana becomes the new queen of the Amazons, leading them to rejoin the outside world and restore and inspire peace. With the Amazons at her side, Diana negotiates peace between the countries of the world, unlike anything in history. Arthur is recognized by the kingdoms as a true king that has helped unite the world. The skepticism over his human heritage not only gone, but replaced with admiration. The Flash will free himself from the past, releasing his father from prison with Cyborg's help, and learning how to master his time-traveling abilities, literally becoming able to be in two places at once. Cyborg evolves, becoming a god of the digital age, and able to transform himself to look human again. And Batman will ultimately sacrifice his life for these unlikely friends and the woman he loves, leaving behind a legacy that will never truly die. After a memorial commemorating the Batman's sacrifice, Commissioner Barbara Gordon asks Lois, What are you going to tell him? 
referring to telling Lois' son the truth about his father. The truth. For the first time in decades, crime is returning to Gotham, and it needs the Batman again. Various jail members like Martian Manhunter are present. Lois takes her son to the Batcave and reveals the truth. That his father was Bruce Wayne. Batman. Gotham, rising from the shadows and out into the moonlight, we meet an all-new Batman. <laughs>